guys, how's it going? So, today's video is going to be on the meerkat. Oh, oh, oh. So the meerkat is Betty Gallegos' signature yo-yo. And this shape is very reminiscent of a shape that you guys all know I love, which is the shape of the outlier. This is an inner ring design. They've kind of taken it to the next level. Let's see how this thing plays. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Damn, this is a, all right. I think the first thing that I realized while using this yo-yo is that it's super light. Like, um, the, uh, the outline was also designed to be quite a light yo-yo. I don't know the exact weight of this yo-yo, but I'll, I'll put it up there. But I, I, the immediate feeling I get from playing this is that it is light. Um, and that is also factoring in the idea of, um, the, the irony. So the irony itself was was literally just a monometal yo-yo. And playing with this, I I can't even tell it's a bimetal. It, it does have a powerful weight distribution, but it is super, super light. Let's uh, let's really put this thing through its paces. Ooh. Ooh. Lacks a little bit of spin time um, in a horizontal format. Ooh. Uh, uh. Okay, all right. You see, this this was this was one of the reasons why I was kind of against the whole inner ring design thing because I don't know when it has an inner ring. For some reason, th something happens to it when it goes horizontal. I'm not sure what it is, but there seems to be something something about the inner ring that just doesn't vibe well. Um, so, I, I definitely like this yo-yo, but I feel as if, maybe it's the bearing inside of it. It does have kind of a center track. I don't know. Does die a little bit fast when it comes to horizontal. In terms of its like other capabilities, it's a super fast, super lightweight yo-yo. So this is definitely something that, um, ooh. Had I been looking for something that was very similar to the irony, I would have probably picked up and be like, yeah, this is solid. And I think one thing it does have um, over the over the kind of outlier irony shape is its width. It is quite wide. It, it's wider than both of those yo-yos. Just for whatever reason, I think, and I'm not sure why this is. When I throw it down, the uh, the yo-yo itself has quite a lot of, um, has quite a lot of, like, there's weight there, I mean, and it feels like it's appropriately distributed, I'm just not sure why this, uh, this yo-yo spin time is kind of below average. Whoa! But hey, oh, the meerkat. I like it. I really do. I like the shape. I, I like how they've added that extra kind of cut in there to make it even wider. Um, I think the only thing for me with this yo-yo is that it's um it's kind of dying a little bit fast on me. But hey, I mean, Betty can get it to do crazy tricks. Maybe it's my skill factor that is lacking. But <sighs> oh. That is basically that. So those are my thoughts on the Meerkat. It is a really nice yo-yo. I do like it. Yo Factory, you got this. It's um, it's light, it's fast, it's wide. Um, bit of a spin time issue. Bit of a bit of a spin time issue. Not sure what's causing it, but hey, that's it for me. Any comments, questions, criticisms, post them down below, and I'll see you guys next time.